Good morning. I am so excited to be sharing children's time with you this morning. My name is Rob Brenneman, and I'm going to tell you a story today, and you're going to help, some of you are going to help me act it out. We have a theme this week at CMC called Building Our Family Rooted in Anabaptist Values. That may sound like a mouthful, but really what it's about is about the fact that you and I are all members of a family. And actually, we're members of multiple families. So the story I want to tell you about today is a story about my family with my brothers and my parents, and it's a little bit it relates to my Anabaptist family, which is like my church family, just like you have a church family here today. So I'm going to tell you a story about that, but it's kind of, it's a story about the past, and so in order to um, think about the past properly, uh, I think we need a time machine, don't you? Because this story happened 41 years ago when I was about your age, just about your age. I was about this tall. And we need a time machine so that you can see what I looked like when I was eight years old, okay? So I've asked my two boys here, Nico and Gabo, to come up and bring the time machine with them so that you can see me when I was eight years old. They, they have built a, a time machine. They're very technical boys, and they know how to build things. So... Um, What's going to happen is in behind this time machine, I'm going to do three turn around three times, and when I've turned around the third time, you're going to see me when I was eight years old. Okay, so are we ready? Can we? Okay, one, two, three. Okay, <laughs> got it. Can you see me? When I was eight years old, now can you imagine me as an eight-year-old better? Okay, the time machine worked. Thank you, guys. I'm going to ask Gabo to stay up here. He's going to help with something. Uh, <laughs> they are very technical guys. They're very good at this. Um, so the other thing that you need to be able to imagine, I, I think it would be good if you could imagine my whole family when I was eight years old, because this story has to do with my family. So let's see if you can uh, picture my family when I was eight years old. Here's my family. Okay, um, yeah, I had three brothers and a mom and a dad, and we lived in Michigan. And if you're wondering why we wore such big collars back then, um, I wish I had an answer for you, and I, I don't. I don't know why we wore such big collars, but that's how we dressed. Um, this this uh, story took place with all my family members in our family car. So to set the scene here, I think we need a picture of the family car. It was an AMC Concord. <laughs> Um, it was not my favorite car. It was one of those cars, I don't know if you've ever been in a car that after you go over a bump, um, there's a little jingling and jangling that you hear for a couple of seconds afterwards. So this car, I didn't really like this car very much, but it was our car. And um, so there's a picture of it. So what I'm gonna ask, I need, I'm gonna need four volunteers, five with Gabo here. Okay, we've got, um, I need a mom with a loud voice. Can you do that? Um, you just have to say one thing, and I'll tell you what it is in just a minute. And um, we need a dad. Okay, can you be the dad? Okay, so mom, you're going to sit here. Um, uh, we're going to be in the back seat here, Gabo. So mom is going to sit right here. Okay, you're going to need to have a loud voice. And dad, you're going to sit right here, and you just need to drive. Okay, that's what you're doing. You're going you're gonna to pretend you're driving. Okay, yep, that's right, let's grab the steering wheel. Okay, and now we need my little brother, Ryan. I wonder if Ian might be willing to play my little brother, Ryan, your dad. Would you be willing to play that? You don't have to. I just need somebody to sit right here on the crack in the front seat. Okay, come on up, come on up. Um, you're gonna sit in the front seat. Now, mom and dad, you can squish him a little bit because there wasn't much seat. And don't worry about putting a seat belt on. We didn't worry about those things back then. Um, I need my oldest brother, Conrad, and all you have to do here is read a book, okay? You're gonna be reading a book. Okay, come on up. Um, Belen, here you go. You just 
open that book and read, and you're just ignoring everything that's going on around you. That's, that's my oldest brother, Conrad. And then there's me here, and then this is my uh, next older brother, Steve, okay? You have to imagine he's a little bigger than me, and he's picking on me right now. So he's making faces at me, and um, just, 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 he knows how to make me really mad, okay? And we're driving in the car, Dad, keep driving, okay? Mom, you're going to shout in just a minute, you're going to shout, Bobby, what's your verse, okay? Not yet, but when I say, you're gonna say, Bobby, what's your verse? And then I'm going to, this really happened, this is a true story, and um, we're driving in the car on our way to church, and back when I was in the early 1980s, one of the ways that we built our Anabaptist family rooted in Anabaptist values, every Sunday night we had to come to church with a Bible memory verse. You needed to know your Bible memory verse because you were gonna have to stand up and say it to the whole congregation. And so my Bible memory verse was Hebrews 13.1. I'm not gonna tell you what that text said yet, but the text was Hebrews 13.1. And I knew my Bible verse. I liked that one because it was very short, but it wasn't, I knew I couldn't pick Jesus wept because my friend John John always picked that one before me. It was so short. And he took Jesus wept, that was a really easy one. So I took one that had four words in it um, and we were practicing our verse on the way to church and this play is over when I say the word continue, okay? So we're driving, thank you dad for driving so well, you're doing such a good job. Now mom, as we're going, could you shout out to me, hey Bobby, what's your verse, okay? You're picking on me. Go ahead, say, hey, Bobby, what's your verse? It's loud as you can. Hey, Bobby, what's your verse? (laughs) Let brotherly love continue. (laughs) Thank you all. Can we have an applause for our play here? Okay. You can all go back down, sit down again. Thank you. Well, what do you think about me hitting my brother as I said, let brotherly love continue? Does that make a lot of sense? No, we have a word for, what, for when you say one thing and do something else, and that word is irony. In Spanish, la ironía. We say irony to describe a word when you're doing something and saying something completely different. And for Anabaptists, we try not to practice irony, except in special circumstances. Um, we try to practice something else called sincerity. We want to say what we mean and mean what we say. Can you say that with me? Say what we mean and mean what we say. It was very important to early Anabaptists and it's important to us now that what we say and what we do go together. Not like what I was doing with my brother hitting him, as I said, let brotherly love continue. Um, So I want to end with this story, uh, end with a verse that I think helps us remember to get our actions and our words flowing together. So would you help me say a Bible memory verse for today, which is Matthew 5, 37. And I think this one works really well if you tap your foot. It goes like this, let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. Can you say that with me? Let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. Last time, let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. Okay, the last thing we want to do today is we're gonna add a sticker to help us build our church family. And the way we do that is you're gonna take a Lego sticker and you're gonna put it around the final circle here in building a church family right here. And this will represent our actively building our church family with a Lego, just like we build with Legos, okay? Thank you. Come on up and put your sticker on.